Okay. I uh, have now gone through. I purchased a uh, bore scope. So that hooks to my iPhone and uh, allows me to get inside the flight surfaces here. And I have now checked every rivet for the vertical stabilizer, the rudder spar, which was kind of easy because it's only the front ones, and the elevators um, and the rear elevator on one of them. I forget which side because I could get to it from the back. There's a little opening, but the other one you can't really get to it. Um, and then the trim tab is, you could kind of see those rivets, so you didn't really need a bore scope for those. But I have checked every rivet and I will tell you that there are two rivets that I don't think are smashed. I think they're smashed a little bit too much in my opinion because they're a little bit tinier than the other ones, but probably still well within spec. Um, and there are zero cracks in any of my spars. And so now the question is, what do I do? Um, they're telling me to replace the spars. Um, their own instructions say when you drill something out, it you know the hole's bigger than it was when you first did it, so not to do it that often. Um, and I don't know. I'm I'm thinking there is nothing wrong with the pieces I received, and so now my question is, what do I do with that? Um, they're saying replace the spars, and I think replacing the spars will make it weaker than it currently is because I'll dr have drilled out all of those holes. Um, so I am still waiting to hear what Vans has in store for us. Um, and and they did have a, somebody had posted, and I'll, I'll add it to the, the description here. Somebody had posted a video of the um, kind of the Q&A and the explanation that Vans did at um, Air Venture 2023 um, and they did one thing that was I did kind of like is they said hey we're builders too and I think I think they're gonna say hey you can't take apart the elevators without destroying them because they're tank sealed the things are tank sealed in there to that rear spar it's impossible to do I think they're gonna send out whole new pieces um, but that begs the question do they really need to um, I'm not so sure I honestly think that there might have been a bad batch um, out there there might have been some metal that maybe wasn't right there might have been some bad processes there was somebody on the laser cutter that didn't know what they were doing that day I think there are bad things out there but I don't necessarily think everything that was laser cut is bad. Um, I can't find a single crack. And I have, and it's Arizona, it's 115 degrees out. I do have air conditioning in my garage, but it's still 85 degrees in here. And I've been out here for four hours going through every freaking rivet on the spars. And there is absolutely no cracks. And I am freaking awesome at riveting airplane stuff together. I don't know if you know that, but they all look really, really good. I might be really good at this. Um, so I guess we just wait and see, see what Van says, see what, uh, what comes of it all. But I think, personal opinion, there was a bad batch. Some people got part of that bad batch and I feel sorry for them and I think they need to, Vans should do the right thing and replace all of those pieces because it's impossible to take them all apart. Um, but for those people that don't have bad parts, I don't think you should be required to replace them. And if you are required to replace them, they should, they should give you the whole, the whole thing because drilling them out is not a solution. So my opinions. Have fun. We'll wait and see. Van said give them a couple of months, so we're going to give them a couple of months and see what they have to say. Talk to you later. Bye.